It would be being elegantly unapologetic because there is a tendency towards the world perceiving women who are strong to be aggressive or too emotional. Um, and we are always toying between these two pulls. But in fact, if you can be elegantly unapologetic for what you know you're capable of doing, you will eventually get there. It does take a lot of time. Um, and there are a lot of hurdles on the way. That it'll take time and that inequality has been there for generations and it'll take generations to, to get the equality we deserve. But to be patient and to compromise is not a form of weakness, it's a form of strength. Of course, also to choose your partner well, uh, not to be so angry. Um, anger is a detriment to progress. Sorry, gentlemen, but I think that that could be something that men might want to also learn. <laughs> so you should be, you don't need to be just uh, determined, not uh, waver from what you are determined to do, but uh, not be as angry as perhaps one is in one's youth at the inequality. I finished law school. I was desperately looking for a job and uh, I got turned down by about 250 companies for many reasons. Um, I even changed my name to um, a name that was less foreign because naively I thought it was because I was perhaps a foreigner. The truth is it is a dual reason, um, foreigner as well as woman. But I got my break by through Cisco Systems. They only took law students uh, from Harvard and I had come from Northeastern. But for some reason, there was a woman interviewer. And this is why when I interview, I really encourage girls to really, I just see there's lots of hurdles in their own uh, confidence. I stayed almost 10 years. I had a lot of hurdles in that job. Uh, I learned a lot, a very hard way. But I must say the times that I almost wanted to give up, uh, well, all, I was always saved by a female leader who sat me down and gave me guidance. It will take a long time for you yourself to realize the confidence you need to have in order to succeed. And that's the biggest hurdle, even in schools. You know, you, you learn to believe you're not good in math or uh, engineering, etc. And many times if you say something too loudly, the boys will shun you because you're kind of bossy, right? So you learn these things all the way through till you get older and you become not a leader, even though you're capable of being a leader. It's a real hurdle. And I must say, I'm very fortunate. I have a very good husband who is supportive, but I'm determined. Honestly, I'm so determined to make sure that I can give as many young girls an opportunity to actually grow as they are capable of. And it really takes other women and men to give that opportunity. So I mustn't say just women because, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, most men are in the positions of power in general. And if they can recognize the power and the strength of a woman higher, you will recognize. There's a very good uh, interview by a Shark Tank uh, gentleman. He did a research study of his about 27 companies he had and 100% of the ones that had the best the, the highest revenue were all 100% women-led. And he realized that there were three attributes of women-led companies that led him, led them to be successful. Learning to compromise and being patient is important in business. Women tend to have to learn that even if they may not have been that by nature.